tell me a little bit about yourself, about your... First of all, let's talk about your ethnicity because yes. you are part Puerto Rican, correct? Mm-hmm, my mother is, and I'm also um, French and Italian too. But I, I feel like I... Um, throughout my life, I've, I've more or less um, been in that ethnic background. Mm-hmm. You know, I never really grew up um, in school. I was kind of like outcasted and, you know, I wasn't really like that popular girl until I got older and, you know, started being cheerleader and, you know, the things that give you credentials in school, mm-hmm. you know. And so I was always outcasted. I felt like a minority, you mm-hmm. know. So I always um, identified with that side yeah. rather than, you know, my mom was like, check the Spanish. You get more benefits. <laughs> like, I don't think it works that way now. <laughs> Trump's president. <laughs> I remember over my, here checking the white. <laughs> I remember my dad brought that up once. My dad's actually South African, so I'm technically like yeah, part African. You are. And so I remember I was signing up college applications. He's like, why don't you check African American? I'm like, that's a horrible thing to do. That is like so legitimately wrong. Right. Like, come on. I am the whitest person you'll ever meet. I have all the white privilege that goes with that. I'm not going to try to like right, step right. in on like, you know, some so minorities, funny. like yeah. privileges, not yeah. privileges, I shouldn't say, but, you know, affirmative action. Right, right. Help them get along because mm-hmm. we've not treated um, African Americans very well in this country right, for right. a very long time. Mm-hmm, and it's mm-hmm. a real. And I feel like it's something that we're still facing, you know. Oh God! And I've had almost an identity crisis like my whole life, Mm -hmm. honestly. And and I've been thinking about this more lately because, like, I you know I didn't necessarily fit in with like the white popular kids, Mm -hmm. and then you know I you know I kind of acted soulful, and you know I'm urbanized in a sense, but then I didn't really fit in with them. So it's like I never really knew where I fit, you know. So I kind of just. Just me, Jalissa. Yeah, because <laughs> looking at you, you look, I mean, like, it would be hard to place your ethnicity. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. People are like, because sometimes, you know, when my hair is naturally curly, like, mm-hmm. people would always think that I was, like, mixed, you know, like Mariah Carey. She's mm-hmm. she's half black, half white. And, yeah. you know, people would be like, are you? And I'm like, no, I'm just Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And you have the booty to show for that. Yes, exactly. And the lips. That's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I remember when I, when I shot you and you first got naked, me and the makeup artist the whole time were like, what the fuck is up? <laughs> with that body <laughs> both of us were just like no those curves are completely unreal oh like God. that is insane I was so happy because I was like am I too thick for Playboy like I auditioned three times before I finally got in and mm-hmm. I was like maybe I'm too thick maybe you know and I feel like the first two times I didn't really grow into my sex appeal yet yeah. so maybe they just weren't ready for me yeah. and, it, and I feel like it happened when it was supposed to because maybe if I would have got it earlier I wouldn't have been you know selected to work with you so I'm glad that you know, everything was, happens and everything in happens, its own time yes, for exactly. its own reasons exactly and this was a big year for me to be in Playboy so yeah a crazy peace yeah. in peace you you know, I um, I really what I loved about about you was not only like your body, but how you embraced it. You know, and I think you talked about when we did that interview. You know, about how you you had stretch marks and you embraced mm-hmm, your stretch mm-hmm, marks and you mm-hmm. loved your stretch marks because they were a part of you and right. like your thick thighs and all of that. And I mean, I think that you you are very physically appealing anyways. Thank you. But adding all that confidence and that that self-love into the mix, mm-hmm, I think mm-hmm. makes you so much more attractive. Oh, thank you. And I really feel like it's, you know, for me, I kind of took away from that as it was very much an inspiration because as a woman, you know, I'm totally self-critical right, and I right. look in the mirror and I see all these things wrong with me. And, you know, I've always had thick legs. Yeah. And I remember in high school how much I hated that and how I just wanted long, skinny legs, like, mm-hmm, more than anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then seeing you embrace embrace that, Aww. and it's hot. Like, I yeah, see it on you, and I, I think it you. looks great. And now, like, I love girls with thick thighs. Yeah, I see right? that, and it's I'm like, sexy. that looks mm-hmm. so good. And, and girls are, I, I feel like girls are... Culturally, we're embracing that a lot. Yeah, I more agree, a hundred percent. I agree too, and I feel like a lot of it has to do with, you know, the the time changes and how like accepting, you know, we mm-hmm. are of even 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 like the the nudity or or implied nudity compared to it was ten years ago. I feel like it's so much more accepted now that yeah. people are, you know, like with the stretch marks or with the imperfections, like people are, are putting that out there and actually like glorifying that. So yeah. that, so I think that the the I plastic was just listening to Kendrick Lamar it, this morning. Yeah. you know, I am so. Sick and tired of yeah, the, the Photoshop. Photoshop. Show, Show me something. something real. Real. Yeah. Like, some ass with some stuff. Yeah, something marks. like that. We got 
it. <laughs> Something like that. I can't rap. <laughs> you know, you so got like, it. You got it. No, you got it. It was a good melody. Um, but exactly, that's exactly what I was saying. I feel like all the plastic stuff is kind of going out mm-hmm. of, of the realm and the, the more like natural. It's okay to have stretch marks. It's okay to have wrinkles when you smile and smile yeah. lines, you know, like so. I, I didn't even know anything about that until I moved to LA. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've been embracing my wrinkles lately because, you know, I, I just turned 39 um, a month and you look amazing. ago or almost two months ago. Thank you. But um, I, I don't know. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and I see like my little like wrinkles that uh-huh, are coming uh-huh. around my eyes and I kind of like, I like them. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Like, right and now. And it builds character. Well, right that now. too. In, and in five like, years, yeah. I might, I might. Right, right, right. So yeah, yeah, just rub a little cream or yeah. something. You yeah. know, yeah. <laughs> you'll be good. <laughs> I mean, not to say that I haven't had any of that stuff. I, mean, I don't want to be that natural. <laughs> but you know, like there's right. something about aging gracefully. Mm, no, but, I agree. A hundred percent. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.